Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a nice complex expression 2i to the power i. To be able to do this, we're going to write 2i in polar form and then raise it to the power i using properties of exponents, complex numbers, and so on and so forth. So let's see how we can do it. 2i is 0 plus 2i. So it can basically be represented by the point 0 comma 2 on the complex plane. So it, the angle it makes or the argument is pi over 2. And its modulus is obviously 2, the absolute value. So we can write 2i as 2 times e to the power i pi over 2. Awesome. Now, this is going to be raised to the power i, and if you wanted to represent this in the general form, obviously, you could add multiples of 2 pi to this because there are infinitely many angles whose measure equal pi over 2, so you can add multiples of 2 pi to it. In other words, you can write this as 2 times e to the power i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. All right? So that's the more general expression. Let's go ahead and go with the specifics. So now we're going to raise this to the power i. And when we do that, we're going to get something like this. 2 to the power i, and then e to the power i squared, because i times i, multiplied by pi over 2. As you know, when we have something like a to the power b to the power c, the exponents are multiplied, right? So i squared is negative 1, so we get a real number from this. But we have something like this, 2 to, 2 to the power i, which is actually complex or imaginary. So how do we express that in a little uh, differently? So let's go ahead and simplify this first. Since i squared is equal to negative 1, this is going to be e to the power negative pi over 2. I think we've done i to the power i before, so it should be very similar to that one. Now, to be able to handle 2 to the power i, we're going to, we're going to do the following. We're going to write 2 as e to the power ln 2, and then substitute this. So when we raise both sides to the power i, we're going to get e to the power ln 2 to the power i multiplied by e to the power negative pi over 2. And then multiply the exponents e to the power i ln 2 times e to the power negative pi over 2. Now, you've got to remember, e to the power negative pi over 2 is a real number. So this part is real, and this part is complex. So what do you do with the complex part? Use Euler's formula. Euler's formula tells us e to the power i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. And remember, we talked about this in our other channel, a plus bi. There are some lecture videos that I made, so if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check them out. The channel's name is a plus bi. All right, so now looking at the Euler's formula and looking at what we have, we can say that this is equal to cosine of theta, which is ln 2 plus i, sorry, I just had to write it this way, cosine of theta, which is cosine of ln 2 plus i times sine of ln 2. This is the e to the power i ln 2 part, but we have a real part 2. Let's go ahead and write that first. That's going to be e to the power negative pi over 2. So if you want to distribute, you can do so and write this as e to the power negative pi over 2 cosine ln 2 plus e to the power negative pi over 2. And let's go ahead and put the i first. i times e to the power negative pi over 2 times sine ln 2. And that would pretty much be the answer of the principal form at least for 2i to the power i. You can go ahead and compare this answer to i to the power i, which is slightly different. All right, so that's pretty much it, but let's go ahead and check out the result from Wolfram Alpha. Obviously, this can be written in a couple different ways. Let's go ahead and see what Wolfram Alpha gave us, and here we go. Unfortunately, according to Wolfram Alpha, log is the natural logarithm, so you have to treat this like ln, and then you, you can say, you can pretty much see that this is the same form. 
Uh, what happens with the second version? You can separate the real part and the imaginary part and write it with exponents like this too. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.